All right, I'm sitting here with Dominique. How are you doing? I'm okay. Do you wanna just tell me like a little bit about where you're from? Uh, how old you are? Stuff, just the normal stuff. Um, I'm from all over. I love so many places. <laughs> um, but I mean, uh, I grew up around like Marple and Dittman and like. Mayfair to Coney. Okay. So in the, um, you're from the well, the city is where you're yeah, from. Yeah, I'm from the Northeast. city. Yeah. Okay. Um, I lived in, um, you know, like when I was little, little, like Southwest, South Philly. Okay. Um, my grandma had a house in uh, Southwest. So um, my mom, my bought it when she was, after my grandma passed. Okay. And they were like fixing it up. Um, but then, um, when I um, got a little older, like in high school, we moved a little closer to the boulevard, and then um, the, my last senior year, um, they moved to Jersey. Okay. Um, I only lived in Jersey for my senior year, and then... Wait, so wait, bro, you moved high schools into your senior year? Yeah, my last, Dude, the last so half of my fucking senior year. Let me just, real quick, that happened to me. That was one of the most shocking, hardest things to go through. So it was, was it hard for you? Because everyone already has their all their friends already and Bro, their cliques. I was so upset. Like, yeah. Four years I spent with these people, and all I wanted to do was yeah. graduate with them. Yeah. Because I originally I went to Swenson. Okay. Um, See, I moved from Connecticut at the time all the way to Ohio, so it's like oh, I couldn't shit. even like you know what yeah. I mean. It was so far. It's like the other side of the world when you're that age. Yeah. You blowing this real quick. <sighs> Sorry, but I know that's so that there's a lot of trauma moving, you know, moving oh, at that boy. age. Do, it was. So that when you started using? Um, around that time. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I would, you know, smoke pills, drink, you know, um, I did a lot of that. How, how long um, have you been on opiates dope. for? Dope. Um, and, and, and was it the original? Heroin. Yeah, anymore. yeah. So you started with the I original. I started with the original dope. Yeah. Okay. About ten years. Ten years. Okay. So you're about what is it? About three, four years into the four, about six years into the fentanyl now. Then. Mm-hmm. Um. Did you? Yeah, it's about. Did you notice the change when they started cutting the fentanyl? Oh, absolutely. You did. Absolutely. And, and what uh, was your thoughts on it? Did you like it more? Um, I liked it when it was mixed with the dope. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of it really by itself. Okay. Um, but it was definitely one of them things where, like, oh, all right, this is so strong. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I can, you know, I, I try to friggin'. Now, it's, the withdrawals a lot faster comes along a lot faster absolutely i fucking i'm sick within like two hours really wow yeah but that's the trank okay that's what i was gonna go about yeah, just about to ask you about the trank now um off air i showed you jess's picture of her leg mm -hmm. and you said you're dealing with open source too right my hand right now is really fucked really, up yeah i mean i could i could almost smell it a little bit it's um and, and mm -hmm. is it just scared to go into the hospital to get it fixed right now Scared of the trank withdrawal? Yeah. Okay, it gets that bad, huh? The, the trank it, withdrawal? It does, uh, especially lately, because they're calling, the xylazine is, like, so bad. Mm -hmm. um, like, people are having seizures. Yeah, that's um, what I hear. You know, they're they're getting so sick, and, like, the, the normal comfort meds, they don't, they don't work anymore. Yeah. Um, it's scary. Yeah. So now, even sometimes, let's say you might go get a bag to get well, and if it doesn't have enough trank in it, I won't. I won't you, get well. You still won't feel well. No, and I I do speed balls, yeah. um, so I have to have powder with it too. Yeah. Um, and I have I'm not no I can't just do like a bag and be like okay like I I do like at least like two three bags. You got a high tolerance. And like yeah. two three powder at a time. Yeah. Wow. So like. So you might go spend all your money and all that. Like my shots are like thirty five dollar shots wow. almost. Wow. Plus my crack. Yeah. You wow. know? Yeah. So how much money do you think you're spending in a day? A lot. On a good day, a couple uh, hundred. 200 about something like that more than that maybe like a good like on a good day mm -hmm. probably like three yeah three four hundred maybe yeah, 
And how long have you been on the streets now? On and off a couple of years. Um, I have an apartment. So okay, that, that's what I was gonna yeah, ask. Yeah, I have I have my own apartment now up in um Alany, okay. or Fern Rock. Okay. So like, um, you know, and I have that through Pathways. Oh okay. Because of the bridge, right? Emerald City. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I was down there first. Okay. Oh, that's that was like the first encampment. Yeah. Okay. I, and I started I started down Somerset yeah. in Emerald City. So it's funny you bring this up. Um, the, the the gentleman that works through Proact that's helping Jess with her leg, mm-hmm. he was saying that's when shit really hit the fan down here is when they broke up Emerald City. Absolutely. That's so that you agree with that? Absolutely. hundred yeah. um, percent. That and then he also said the PUA money uh, was wild. Locked up at that time. So it's probably a good thing. <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> you were so mad you weren't getting that I money, was huh? So mad. I said, it must have been the only time down here there weren't people begging for money left and right. It was probably like a yeah. party down here. Bro, I can never have, I can't have a shot, a cigarette, a hit, nothing yeah. to myself. Yeah, yeah. Every fucking time I turn around, it's, can I get a couple units? Yeah. Can I get, you know, a couple dollars? Can yeah. I get your rents? Can I get this? Can I get that? Can I get a little piece? Like, and don't get me wrong, like, if I have it, I give it. Yeah. You know, I, I, will, I will never see anybody sick. Yeah. You know, I hate that. And it's fucked up because when I, you know, when I need something, it's like, who do I turn to? Nobody's around, huh? Right. Yeah, I get that. I definitely While they're doing fucking six bag shots and four powders and a shot every 10 minutes. No, I get that. (laughs) Um, So what do you do for um, your sleeping situation? Are you out here and... Sometimes, Camp, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I go home sometimes, uh, um, but it's hard to go home because you gotta because, get all the way to Omni right. and then figure out how you're gonna get all the way back here. Well, I mean, the, the L and the Broad Street line is oh. all I need to take to get there. Yeah, I got. Where do you go down to? Um, I go to City Hall. City Hall, and then, then up the Broad I take Street the Broad Street line to Fern Rock. And yeah, I'm, I'm okay. two blocks from Fern Rock. All right, so that's not so too it's bad. not bad. But it's the money. It's, yeah. it's making sure that I have enough to go home with yeah. to stay well. So I don't have to run back out here right away. Right, because like you said, the um, withdrawal starts so fast. Right, right. You have to like schedule that into your... And then God forbid I fucking fall asleep. Right. I'm sick as soon as I wake up and it's like, oh my God. So that's what most people are, are telling me. It's like they get high... And like back with the regular heroin, you'd not off, but you'd still be able to go about your right, day. Right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I would. I would use some dope. Like, and uh, I'd go to work. I should do Right. Go to work. I would. I would. Yeah. I would. I worked fucking. I worked three jobs. Yeah. Um, waitressing. Mm. Um, you know, when I first first started. Right. Um. Plus, I was going to school full time. Mm. And um. You know, like then. After, um, you know, a little bit, I had moved back down here. I was living up in Coatesville. Okay. That's uh, where I had moved right after That's graduation. County, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, right after graduation. Like I said, I had only lived in Jersey for, like, my senior year. Yeah. And as soon as, it, right away, I moved up to Coatesville with my ex-boyfriend. Okay. Um, and I lived up there for, like, four years. I would drive back and forth. Um, that's really where I started doing do. Okay. Like before that. So you just that, drive into the city cop and like leave. before that, like I was just like doing the pills and smoking weed and yeah. and you know stuff like that, like normal yeah. stuff. And then like I had um when I moved up to Kyoto, I I kind of settled down. Okay. Um, my boyfriend was older at the time. Um, I was 16 when we got together. He was 20. Right. So like. Um, you know, uh, he kind of... Is he the one that kind of got you into the, the heroin? No, 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 okay. no, absolutely not. He hated it because his, um, mom, his mom was in recovery oh, okay. for 15 years. Wow. Um, it's going on like, I think 17 now or 18. Oh, okay. Something like that around right. there. Maybe not that much, but, um, but he hated it. He hated it. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the reasons why, you know... But the relationship itself was one of the reasons why I started using. Yeah. Um, so how long, real quick, how long were you doing, like, the pills and stuff before you switched to IV? Was it years? Yeah, years. Okay. Since I was, like, 14. All right, so you were able to, like, 
you know, get through life and just take the pills for a while. And, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. Um, and I did that for a while with, you know, Al. Now, when you started doing dope, were you snorting it first? Or did uh, you go right only to IV? For, only for a couple weeks. Okay, so you were at the IV pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Me, and my, me and my best friend, Jess. Um, okay. Hold on one second. Jess, I'm doing an interview. Let me call you, or call me back in 20 minutes, and I'm coming to see you. Call me back in 15 minutes, right? All right, thanks, bye. All right, sorry, that was Jess, the girl's leg I showed you. So I've been going to visit her like crazy. Okay. Now, um, Jefferson, she's in Jefferson. Her leg, they said that's fixed enough now. We're just getting the healing, so there, she's at Valley Forge Rehab. Yeah, well, my hand is. So are you, what are your plans with that? I know you... I, I, I need... You need to get it looked at. I need to go to the hospital bad. I could... I, could I, I really need to. Yes. Um... I mean, if there's any way I can help you do that, I will. Um, even if it's just sitting with you in there or, you know... My thing is, like, I just... I need to be able to have shit to go in with. Yeah, well, that's what... So, I'll be... And, I'll be completely honest with you. That's how I got her in there. I gave her $40. She got her shit. Mm -hmm. And then I took her up there. Yeah. So, if that's something you want to do and it's something you're serious about, we can talk about it later on absolutely because you need I, I, I can you know I I'm worried to. yeah I'm worried about your, your hand and that you don't just don't want the inf infection to go into your blood I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you cry. no it's okay no. I just I, I, I want to get you help you know it's just like I was in the hospital a year and a half ago for my heart mm -hmm. I had endocarditis okay so you, you've been through this before so I had open heart surgery I mm -hmm. had Literally 24 hours to live mm -hmm. when I went in. Yeah. It was that bad. And that's from a blood infection? Yeah. From I, shooting up or something? I had caught MRSA. Okay. Some time. I was in jail for three months. I was locked up September of 2020 to December of 2020. Three months exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and I came home for exactly a month before I went into the hospital. So just in that month. That short month. In that short month, I mercy. couldn't walk. Wow. Um, I was septic. Mm -hmm. Um. Because that's gonna go to that eventually, and that's my only. And I'm yeah, not trying well, to scare you. I think you. I am septic. I think I'm okay. already. Yeah. Um. Nothing's like really getting me well. Uh -huh. You know. Um. And. Is that why you said you would be more comfortable going to Temple? Because they, they know your history there? Right, right. Okay, because I the only reason I suggested Jefferson is I know they give ketamine. And... Yeah, well, I know I was really comfortable for the most part when I was in Temple. Okay. Um, you know, for the first... I, I slept the first two days and without even... I woke up two days later like, oh, shit, I'm in the hospital. Yeah, so that means you must have been comfortable enough to sleep. So, like, yeah, like, well... Um, when I had went in, they, uh, my um, a friend of mine from Emerald. Yeah. Um, you know, we worked together on the block, and you know, he. Um, I was staying with him for the week before I went into the hospital, and I just I laid in bed. Yeah. For a week straight, I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. Nothing was getting me well. I was doing a shot after shot after shot. Okay. Then like I couldn't walk. I it turned out it turned out I had um an abscess on my right hip internally. Oh wow. In between the two major joints oh. in my hip. And, uh, so you couldn't even tell where it was. No, oh, I wow. didn't. So I just did it knew hurt that, there or anything? Yes, oh, I okay. just knew that I could not walk. Any time oh, okay. that I put pressure on my leg, I would collapse. Wow. Um and like that's scary. Yeah, and they they said if it would have burst, like I would have been paralyzed for the rest of my life. Right. So yeah, not to scare you, but we need to try and figure out how to get your hand yeah. figured out. Like I said, I. I if you want to start mentally preparing yourself, I will get you the money. I will, you know, help you go or whatever. Have you been to Prevention Point or anything? To even have them look at it? You're just scared to do that too? I, yeah, I know it's, it's scary, but maybe, uh, you know, it's something you might want to think about doing. I, I, I work Monday, Tuesday, but I'll be back down here this weekend. This week, I'm sorry, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Do you have a phone or anything? Yeah. No, because every fucking time I get a phone, it gets stolen literally yeah. within a week. From nodding out too much or sleeping? Not even. Like, but yeah, but yeah sometimes, yeah, I'll be sleeping. Wake up and it's gone. Mm. Or, you know, I let somebody use it. Yeah. And 
they take off with it. Yeah. You know, like. Okay. All right. So it's been about 15 minutes. I appreciate it. That's long enough. Can I? Can we keep doing this in the future? Updates and stuff until uh, you get better. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We could do that. All right. And like I said, it's twenty dollars for an interview. You know, at least get out of the cold and. Hopefully we can get your hand worked out. I'm going to talk to you off air trying to figure this out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because it's, yeah, that's I appreciate scary. that. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't want to lose my hand. Yeah. Or my finger, because the rings are stuck on my finger. Oh, man, yeah. Because, I, I don't know, I woke up one, the one day a couple weeks ago, my hand was swollen. Yeah. Um, my, my pointer finger and my middle finger. Mm. And um, my rings are on my middle finger. Oh, man. And I just, I couldn't get them off. They were too swollen. I tried everything. Man, I'm so scary. Vaseline, so scary. fucking so We need to water. get you. We need to get you to the hospital. Yeah, bolt cutters. I tried to get the rings yeah. off. Nothing. So you will think about going if I give you the money and I'll take you up there, whatever. But just think about it. You know, I will, yeah. I'll go out I'll, I'll, think, I'll yeah. sit with you because you, you got to get this. Okay. It's not gonna get better on itself no, by itself. I, it's past and I that. Keep, I keep hoping it will. <laughs> That's past that. I wake up every day and I'm like, oh. yeah, no, it's past that. And I didn't want to scare you, but like I said, I, it's with Jess. I, I smell the same thing I smell with her. So I, I just, and I'm not and saying it's that. It's so to, embarrassing. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm not trying to embarrass you at all. I just want you to. It's so embarrassing. Like my I'm trying to make money. Yeah. With like. You know, my hand is like. Yeah, that's what like Jess was even saying. And sounds. I never have a, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem making money. No, you you're know? a beautiful girl, man. Like I, I, I you know, I that's. I you get know, it. like most of the time, you know, like I'm in and out, like. Yeah. And uh, you know, quick, fifty, sixty, you know, yeah. um, depending on, you know, and. Just want to get you help though with your hand. Yeah, and 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 now with my hand, it's like I can barely fucking. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm scared. Now is that your go good hand too? Me. Yeah, so it's that's my right worse. hand. Yeah. My hand that I write with, my hand that I do everything with, but, and I, I you know I hit out here, I hit people. Okay. For you know yeah, yeah, money. Yeah, money, right? Um, you know, on top, on the side, from what you know, and mm. um. I've, I've had to do it, start learning how to, I learned how to do it with my left hand. Wow. And, um, you know, because my... You gotta survive. And I can't, I can't hit my fucking self. Um, so you can, I can you get paid to else. hit everyone else, but you gotta... I can hit everybody else in two seconds. Myself, <laughs> I sit there for hours. So now you gotta pay someone to, to hit you yeah. after you're done paying everyone yeah. to, or getting paid to hit you. Damn, you hit them. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's madness and I, out here. For 10 years, the 10 years I've been out here, bro, I've never, ever let anybody hit me mm -hmm. until about two, three months ago when I started, yeah. you know, not being able to hit. Well, it's so dangerous with the xylocene about the missing or whatever. It seems like even if you miss, you're still getting fucked up with the xylocene. Exactly. Y you don't People's even People's just to miss. smoking it and they're getting yeah. sore, so. People are smoking crack. Yeah. That, that was and, an older gentleman just said it to getting, me. Yeah. And yeah. they're getting the sores. Yeah crazy all right we're gonna talk off air and try and get you some help for your hand i really appreciate okay. you sitting here and doing this i really do Thank all you. right bye